Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you the Tesla Semi construction video for Saturday, October 5th, 2024, taken around 9 a.m. in the morning. The Tesla Semi factory is uh, approximately two sixths two six completed. There's, in general, there's six major sections. We'll talk about the exception to that. Um, there are and the two-sixths of it are, are largely completed, except for they're leaving one section of columns at the far southwest end uninstalled. And um, the hexagonal footings are used to indicate where they're going to have double columns. And these double columns are an indication of where one section meets another. So what we can glean from that last row of, of hexagonal uh, footings is that there will be an additional seventh section constructed later as shown in the rendering and I'll um, point it out at the end of this video when we get a chance to look at that rendering. That, that section of the building has a portion that's going to be two stories and I believe it's the administrative engineering um, section and that this is the construction or uh, production, semi-production section. I think the one, the section that's been completed is likely for battery uh, assembly, either from scratch or possibly from, um, from completed batteries and the packs will be built there based on some clues from the rendering. And the fact that it's not built as heavy duty as this section with much bigger columns um, so it's very interesting, and we'll take a look at the um, BZI Mesmaster in action for the next several minutes. Here we're going to do a um, initial approach around the far northwest section, virtually completed section, moving down the western perimeter to the south to see this section that's almost completed. And they fill in those gaps, as you see on the left, after afterwards. You can see there the, um, the BZI panel table where they um, are able to quickly construct roof sections. And you'll see a little bit later what I mean by that. A telehandler will come in right behind the Mesmaster as it picks up a um, panel section. I'm speculating that, but first of all, the, um, the large number of trusses assembled near the panel table here tells me that they're probably going to leave the panel table here until such time as these next two sections are built. And then I'm thinking they'll move, they'll relocate it, which no doubt requires a little bit of a, of a takedown and setup and, and uh, leveling. Um, so it's possible they would leave it here for the entire construction, but my guess is they're going to move it. Let me know what you guys think. We're about to get um, to fly up the um, eastern side of the uh, two-sixth sections that have been largely completed and get a look at the beginning of the third section that has columns, beams, and trusses um, assembled in it. In general, they're bigger columns, which leads me to believe that this is where actual construction of the uh, product or production of the semi will take place. And um, there we go. We see the columns, the beams, and the trusses installed, and the Mesmaster putting in the, a section 
And uh, a little bit later, we'll see that Mesmaster, an entire uh, sequence of it going over and picking up a, um, a new panel table and installing it. They are able to build these very quickly. So the Mesmaster has just dropped off or completed the installation of that section with some large open panels and is uh, proceeding to go pick up another one. And we'll uh, just kind of watch and I'll uh, comment as necessary or as appropriate. A lot to be gleaned from the, um, the footprint by looking at the uh, footings. And here are those hexagonal footings that indicate the intersection of a building, of sections of, of major sections of the building. And what I want you to pay attention to is when we get over to the uh, row of uh, footings that have not been installed, they are these hexagonal types right there. That tells me is that's what tells me that there will indeed be an extension to this building that they haven't even be bothered to build um, the footings for. But I'm sure as they as they move away from here to the east and start putting in uh, erecting the rest of the steel, perhaps they'll come back and do those footings, or they'll be delayed. It'll be delayed like we saw at Giga Texas, where a section of building could come six months later. Here's the Mesmaster coming around. You may have noticed a telehandler with uh, trusses earlier, just a moment earlier, and you could back up to see that. But as this, as the Mesmas, as the Mesmaster picks up this roof section, you'll see the telehandler coming in immediately behind it with new trusses, and you can see they already have the next section of uh, panel of roof already completed there on the bottom portion so he'll pick up this one the telehandler co will come in with new trusses and they'll immediately start using this panel table and those um, corrugated s steel sections that are on the two arms that that uh, roll or slide over to allow them to easily pull them off at where they need them telehandler is pulling out and you can, I mean, the Mez Master is pulling out and the telehandler is in the top left portion ready to come in immediately with new, I mean, look at this. They are like really interested in, in um, efficient production.
The size of the workers in this video really gives you perspective on how tall this building is. It's, um, it's a very large factory, very tall factory. And um, right here you can see the worker is repositioning his second safety harness device so that he can disconnect from one and connect to that one as the uh, roof panels are placed. The final section or a few minutes of this video is the is a look at the footings. I would say the footings are like 95% complete, which is amazing. And um, the apron has not been poured completely around. It still needs to be poured at the um, southeast section. But um, other than these giant um, heavy duty footings, the BFF, the big freaking footings that we've talked about in the previous videos, other than these, which are getting closer to completion, all of the standard footings look to be completely poured, which means there'll be no delay in the um, steel assembly using the BZI technique. And uh, Tesla gets credit for um, constantly trying to improve and become more efficient uh, every factory they build. Trying to visualize where the um, bridge cranes are going to be based on this, because I believe bridge cranes are an important part of the um, assembly line for the Tesla Semi based on what I've seen at the uh, prototype production line. Good overview of the entire site. And I hope you enjoyed this video. At the very end, I'll, I'll make a comment about where when we see the rendering about where the um, seventh section of the building will go and how they are set up and prepared for that. Notice all the steel that was laid out there is gone. Okay, see the top right corner? That section of the building is the, um, is the additional section that they have made arrangements for, but have not dug any footings for. And, um, and you see that about half of that building is an additional story. But you can still see the slight jog up there. And thanks for joining. Bye.